In this video I'm going to demonstrate what to do about spurs in the AM broadcast band where they can be troublesome because uh, primarily because there are lots of uh, strong signals if you live around a big city uh, over a comparatively narrow frequency range uh, and this type of SDR is inherently uh, somewhat susceptible to spurious responses but there are things that can be done to minimize their detrimental effects. Here I've set up uh, the LD1B for a local oscillator step size of 9 kilohertz. So I can move the local oscillator frequency in 9 kilohertz increments. The local oscillator frequency right now is 732 kilohertz. And here and here I have spurious responses to the same local station. It's uh, pretty strong and its uh, actual frequency is 1450 AM. These two spurs are at about 742 and about uh, I'm sorry. The City Council of Bolverde, Texas passed a resolution about 718 and, and 747. Now in the United of the States, and I think San in Canada as well, AM broadcast stations are spaced every 10 kilohertz, which means their frequency the always ends in a zero. Or the extra so is that's a pretty good clue that these are spurious responses. Besides, I can see that they're identical meeting. except for and in a, a slight difference in Amplitude. Um, this signal here at 730, that is an actual station. Now there's another one that's covered up most of the time by the envelope of uh, this spur at 720. That's WGN in Chicago, a clear channel station, which I would be able to hear if it weren't completely covered up by the spurious response. Well, here's what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to move the LO frequency down a couple of steps to 714. Now the spurs have been moved here and here. And I can see WGN Chicago right at 720. Now there is another station right next to it, so I'm going to go down one more step. Now WGN is in the clear. If I narrow up the filter a bit and listen closely. They're playing California Girls. And I could hear their station ID a little while ago. That is definitely WGN. Now if I had wanted to listen to the station at 7.30, actually it was in the clear before. And there's WJR Detroit. We call that an air pressure balance. And if we have a bad balance of air pressure inside the house, the outside wants By the way, I'm uh, putting this video together uh, about 1 o'clock local time, so it's not quite the same conditions as uh, would be at night time. And there's the 730 station. I don't know where it's located, but I can hear it. So, that's the idea. You uh, may switch to a smaller step size than the one you're using. I'll show how to do this uh, same thing with 192 kilohertz sample rate a little later. Go to as small as 9 kilohertz. That's the smallest one I've got it set up to do currently. And uh, just shift a little bit one way or the other to move the spurs away from the signal that you're trying to listen to. That's it.